Good morning, I'm Christine Armstrong and this is day two official of the lockdown. It's now Wednesday and most of us have been working and looking after our school and nursery age children since Monday. Here are my children looking extremely angelic in the first five minutes of the day as they start their homeschooling. They're showing you some of their pictures. I have written a book called The Mother of All Jobs, How to Have Children and a Career and Stay Sane-ish. I think many of you might be suspecting the answer is in the background, my husband doing the washing up in the corner there, and you might be right. Um, I have been inundated in the last week to 10 days with businesses asking how they can support people who are trying to combine their jobs with being at home with their children. To inform the answers, I've been doing some research. I have been interviewing families in Hong Kong who have been locked down since February, and also in America and in Ireland. What I found broadly breaks down into three buckets of information. The first is that this is a very, very profound change. The Harvard Business Review this morning described it as a grief. We are grieving for a life of normality, a life that we expected and things that we thought were going to happen. And that applies to us and our children. I was talking to somebody yesterday who runs a team who aside doing repeated runs on cash flow and trying to make the numbers work is also trying to educate his children and says that his main focal point is trying not to drink before six o'clock in the afternoon but he's really not succeeding to do that. I spoke to somebody else whose anxiety is always a little bit high but said that it was really really triggered uh, by current events and she's really struggling now to keep it under control. So we have to expect volatility in our team, but at the same time, those of us that have children at home have to expect volatility in our children as well. Um, and that's something that's not necessarily going to get any better over the next few weeks, it's probably going to get harder. The second group of things is really around the practicalities of this. Timetabling, organising space, organising the day, ensuring that children are well exercised. Um, somebody in America was telling me that they've drawn uh, chalk lines in their street so that the kids can kick footballs between designated areas um, without coming into contact with each other which apparently works really brilliantly keeps the children entertained while the parents are working somebody else working in team told me that when they've got really important calls there are a couple of their front desk reception people who are on hand to do zoom calls with their kids and play games and distract them so that they don't get interrupted like the BBC reporter in Korea when his kids ran into the background and the third thing is really to think about what leaders and team heads and managers need to have in mind when they're managing teams. They may not have kids themselves, they may have other pressures. And understanding what's gonna be possible, what's realistic, and how to communicate about this in a productive way. So those are the three groups of research. Um, people are asking for them as videos, as webinars, and as newsletters. Um, and they're all being tailored to the organization so that they're specific to what people need for their business. If you'd be interested in talking to me or some of the experts I'm working with in terms of psychology and education and teams, do be in touch and we would really love to hear from you.